I've not seen any women crying over passport bros. However, I have seen a lot of women laughing at passport bros. Because we can replace men like you with cats and dogs, but y'all have to literally go to another country because no other woman in your own country wants you anymore. That's what we call a whole cope, honey. I've not seen- Stop the cap. So you can replace us with cats and dogs? Yeah, how's that working out for you? I'll wait. I really don't like y'all because the fact that you couldn't find a woman in your own country. These passport bros, I'm gonna be so thrilled with y'all. Y'all are so ugly. <laughs> y'all are ugly. Y'all are uneducated. You ran to a third world country. Mm -hmm. I hate y'all. Good night. We don't care. <laughs> Although we enjoy the laughter you give us. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> the amount of white dudes with Thai women that are waiting to board international flights, it's an absurdity. It is crazy. <laughs> like, half of the couples in this airport right now are beautiful Thai women with super basic white dudes. <laughs> So this is a comment that a lot of guys put um, under this video. And I just want to let you know that the passport bros mentality is just as toxic as this, as this lady's. Is that because you don't agree with her? She doesn't agree with you. You got to throw her under the bus and call her toxic. Basically, the lady is saying, you know, these are the same women that are mad at the passport bros. Everyone can see why they do it now. If this is the kind of women that are here and here means the west and it's the truth because women in the west have a superiority complex they have a lot of attitude they want to be men they act like men they talk like men and they refuse to see the error of their ways so even if a woman disagrees she's going under the bus too but on the other side of that if that woman was agreeing with her she will be giving her flowers. Um, mindset. The reason why I say it's toxic is because you have to understand that there are women everywhere around the world that think the same way. This and that is a lie. That is a lie that women like you like to tell yourselves and all your friends to justify your behavior and your choices. The fact is that this is only prevalent in the West. And it's only been prevalent within the last 100 years if you look like, look at a capsule of time. But right around 50 years, 60 years or something like that, this attitude has been progressing. So that is a complete lie. And I've heard it over and over and over from women trying to justify their point. The majority of women in the world do not agree with you or roll like you. They, they just don't. And that is another reason why a lot of men choose them, because they're the complete opposite of you. You just have to accept that. Because you go out of the country does not guarantee that you're going to find a submissive, I guess that's what y'all looking for, a submissive woman. When in fact, if you watch 90 Day Fiance, a lot of those relationships were people that went out the country to find love and it didn't work. You know, first of all, 90 Day Fiance is a TV show and it's scripted to a degree um i've always find it interesting how women will try to draw comparisons to something in the media some kind of star or something like that to validate their point um how about men are attracted to women that in general are submissive in fem in their female nature see a lot of women like to blow up that whole submissive word and make it seem like they're becoming some type of slave or something like that but submissive for a woman really means to be submissive to your female nature and not push it down with the hammer of masculinity. Because you all have been told that you have to be so strong and you have to do this and you have to be the man. You have to act like a man. A lot of you are single mothers. May be your fault. It could be the father's fault. It doesn't matter. Maybe you have went to school for years to get a degree and you, you know, you work in your you're CEO or whatever the case may be. All those things that you're doing are very masculine. And that's the problem. 
men don't want to marry masculine women. Men don't want to argue every single day, debate every single day, have this argument of, I'm a woman and it should be equal, but only when I want it to be equal. And also you will have to be um, their support financially for 10 years. Did you know that? You know, it's funny that she says for 10 years with the grin. Like people don't know this. Like they're not aware of the fact that if, hey, I choose to deal with someone in another country, it's going to be a visa process. I'm probably going to have to pay for that. I'm going to have to do all these things. And then when they get here, I'm going to have to be responsible for them. As if these people don't know this. So what are you trying to say that those men that passport bros that you're smiling about are the type of men that will go over there and not want to bring the woman back and take care of her, be responsible for her? I think all those men understand that, especially if they watch the show like you do, the 90 Day Fiance saga. <laughs> so... There's still good people in the U.S. just as well as there are good people outside the U.S. We just have to exercise wisdom. And it's not really about good people. See, a lot of women like to make this argument because they don't they, they're not looking at the whole picture. When a man says you're not good enough, I don't want you. You're not the type of woman that I want. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're the scum of the earth. You know what I mean? It, it, it has nothing to do with that. We're talking about the dating marketplace if women have the ability or an end or want the ability to choose the right man for them men should have the same ability to do so without being scorned without being talked about without being called every name in the book but it's not like that is it i don't even know why these women care about men going overseas or whatever the case may be if you got the options, you you know, you're all that. Why are you worried about it so much? I don't understand. At the end of the day, we have to be careful who we choose. It's all about your choosing. It's not have anything to do with the American woman. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. It has everything to do with the Western woman. And that's your problem. You don't think you have one. <laughs> you think men are just supposed to accept you for how you are? How you look, how you talk, how you, you 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 run around being disrespectful, how you talk about men all day like men are the scum of the earth, all these things. But it has nothing to do with the, the women in America, the women in the West. Come on now. It has to do with the type of woman that you choose just like us women got to be careful what type of man that we choose and see that's another thing men don't have a lot of options do you know that there's only a certain percentage of men the top men that small percentage of men that sleep with all the women the great majority of men are not even having sex the great majority of men don't have game the great majority of men you don't think are attractive. They're not tall enough. They don't make enough money. Etc. 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 Men don't have a big pool to choose from like women. That's facts. And the younger a woman is, the more options she has. And the older she is, the less options she has. So I think that is what this is really about. So this is not about pointing fingers and who's better and who's not better. Um, because again, there's a lot of great women like myself that's located in the U.S. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's a lot of good women like me located in the U.S. Sis, own it. On your choices, on your past, on, on your age, on the way you look, on everything about that is you. Take accountability for yourself. Don't get mad at men for exercising the same thing that y'all exercise every day. Freedom of choice. Now y'all mad. You mad that men are doing their thing, but you know what? 
men have been uh, dating, marrying women from overseas for a very, very, very long time. And although the word passport bros has been popularized, popular, popularized, excuse me, by black men, this has been going on for a very long time. Have you ever heard of the military? You know, that fighting force that we have that kind of travels around the world, meets different women, does different things. It's about choice. You're just mad because the men don't want to choose you no more. You, you pass your prime. I'm sorry. It is what it is. How much time did you waste? Now you want to be mad? Come on. Um, and so a lot of people decide they don't want to date people from the U.S. for various reasons. That's fine. But don't just assume that the passport bros are getting the better deal because they're not. So I just wanted to dispel these lies once and for all. How do you know what the passport bros are getting? And why are you telling someone not to assume, but you just did? You don't know what those men are getting over there. You have no idea. You just want to assume that they're not because they're not choosing you. I've been deleting these comments because they have no accuracy to them. And I would like to see some of, you know, again, we have a lot of great people here in the U.S. that's been married. Oh, so you delete the comments that don't agree with you, but leave all the ones that do agree with you. Hmm. For a very long time, that's married to American women. Well, we're not going to downplay or downgrade or talk bad about American women. That's not going to be on my page. So, of course not. Don't hold American women accountable. They're perfect at everything. They look perfect too. All of them. No matter how much they weigh. No matter how much fake stuff they got on their body. They're all tens. Of course, don't hold them accountable. They're special. This is the reason why y'all single. Why a lot of y'all done wasted a lot of time in your prime years. And you're on the decline. Some of y'all done crashed through the wall. And you still refuse to change.